Hello there, this is Dave Allen for EV20 Questions and I've just got my car back and I'm delighted to have it back. I've been driving a Qashqai, a new one, it's only done about 1500 miles on it, or kilometres on it, and it was okay, it was good. I mean, it was uh, okay apart from the fact that I had to put petrol in there, and it was okay apart from the fact that it was got gears. And I'm glad to be getting back in my own car again, which has no gears, and I don't have to put any juice in. Talking about juice, um, I was hoping that the uh, garage here would have put some juice into the car, but they didn't. And I've got a 54% in the car, and it's 137 kilometres. I've got to drive about that much to get home. It's probably just about enough to get home, but I'm going to go and see if I can find somewhere to charge up. I should be able to charge up at this Nissan garage because there's a charger in there, but it's not working, which is a big dis disappointment. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go and have a look in a place called San Cujat de Valles and have a look and see if I can get plugged in on a charger there. I've looked into the plug share app and it says that it's going to be available and that people have used it before and it's worked and hopefully my card that I got from Girona Adjuntament is going to do the job. And then uh, after that I'm going to drive home. Now the problem that I've had with the car before and this is what was in the uh, garage is because of the radar sensor. Um, they changed it, they took three days to do it. I don't know why it took so long, maybe they should have been able to do it in, well they reckon in one day to start with but it's taken three. Um, they, I was uh, hoping to get it back yesterday, um, in fact I was hoping to get it back on Tuesday because I have more time on Tuesday for collecting. And then yesterday they said, oh, we're going to do a bit more checking and stuff. I don't think they did anything at all because I've got to it and there's uh, not much of the battery been used. And uh, I don't, well, I haven't checked yet, but I don't think there's many kilometres been done either. So I don't know how much they've been able to test it actually on the road. So anyway, I shall find out when I sort of uh, head back home and I sort of uh, start putting the uh, Pro Pilot Assist on and find out whether the intelligent cruise control is working. So um, delighted to have my stuff back again. And uh, the other thing I've done is, oh yeah, that's the other thing. When you go to a garage to get stuff done, uh, you like to get your car back as you left it, and I didn't. I mean, just little things to start with. For instance, the seat was in the wrong position. They should have put the seat back into the position where it was before, because my long legs, I need to be able to sort of uh, sit back and they'll be able to get in there. And when some shorter person's been in there, you know, you sort of get in and you bang your knees against the steering wheel and you have to fiddle about to get in the uh, position right on the, um, on the thing. They should note that and put it back the way it was found. Uh, apart from the fact that they should have put some charge into the battery as well. And then the other thing is they've pulled uh, plug sockets out here and there, so I've got a um, thing down here for my uh, dash cam. I hadn't seen it, but that was unplugged as well. So I've got that plugged in now, so I've got my dash cam working again now. And the other thing was is that they changed the um, language on the uh, system here to English, uh, to sorry to Spanish, which obviously they probably needed to do, but they should have been able to change it back and put it back into English for me. At some point in time, I'm going to have to put it in Spanish for myself really, but for the moment I like to have it in English and I uh, was a bit disappointed that they couldn't put it back as they found it. So anyway, this is uh, me having a bit of a complaint and I'll um, drive this car now and uh, after I've been on the motorway back, going back home, I shall know a bit more about uh, whether it's uh, been successful in terms of getting the uh, problem fixed. Hi there, this is Dave Allen for Rev20 Questions and I made it to a charging point where I could get some charge into the car. At the moment it's going in at 40 kilowatts, which is great. And it tells me that uh, 59 minutes remaining if I want to put it to 100%, but I won't be doing that. Um, it's uh, 7 minutes to get to 75%. I've already got 178 kilometres in the bag and I think I'll just wait another 6 minutes until it gets to the 75% and then I'll go home. So I went into a place called, uh, which is not too far away from the garage, called San Cugat de Valles. And I went to one place and there was a charger there and thought, great, I'll be able to use this like I'll use the one in Olat and so on. But the uh, charge card I've got wouldn't work with it. So that was disappointing. I rang a woman up. Uh, there was a number on the uh, thing, I think it was 010. And she says, uh, oh, you have to have the card from the uh, the town hall or something to be able to use it. And what's the point of having it on plug surfing if you have to be a, a person who lives in the town who can get one of these cards to be able to use it? She could have said, OK, well, that's fine. I can activate it from here for you and get you started. But no, none of that. Um, so I went, into, went to, to another one. And this is with the AMB. 
And with AMB, um, I should. I thought that would be one of the ones I could use the the, uh, uh, the Girona uh, gentleman card. But again, no, that's not uh, possible. You have to have an application to use it. Uh, I got the application. I got registered with it, and I should have been able to make it work, but it wasn't working. And uh, I tried it before when I was down by the airport with one, and tried thought I'd try again at a different one, and get it to go with the app. Um, it says you're supposed to be able to start it with an app, but I pressed, you know, uh, places within the app to try and get things to activate. And either I'm just pressing the wrong places, or I, I, mean, I, I, I pressed all over the bloody place and I still couldn't get the thing to go. Okay. So I thought, well, I'll try the one at Barcelona Sands bus station, because uh, that one there is from the Barcelona gentleman. And I was told by the people in Girona that I could use my card from the Girona around Barcelona as well. So uh, I went down there, there was a nice woman there, she was with a Renault Zoe and very pleased with it, she was delighted with it, she charges it once a week even though it's the smallest of the batteries. Obviously you're driving around um, a city like Barcelona, that's all you kind of need really, you know, you wouldn't be going very fast or very far with it. Anyway, <clears throat> she was very nice and was very helpful and she was telling me that there was some parking nearby, that I got some chargers. But those chargers were uh, the Type 2 chargers and the, um, this car would only take you at um, 7 kilowatts. If I'd been in um, her, like her car, the Renault Zoe, I mean, that would have taken it at 22 kilowatts, which would have been nice. That's something they're going to have to do with the uh, next version of the uh, Nissan Leaf. They're going to have to do it so that um, with the AC charging, um, I mean, all around France there, there's loads of places there with the Type 2 Meneckes that have got 22 kilowatts uh, on the Type 2. I mean, for a lot of places that would be enough, but this will only take you at seven. So the next one, they're going to have to do something about that. In fact, if they could retrofit it, I mean, I'd be delighted. I'd pay extra. I'd pay some money to be able to get the um, uh, AC faster charging into this car as well, because of, it's not always available, not very possible to get out of uh, a Chatamo. So there's that. Anyway, eventually I got to the, uh, the charging point, and this time it worked a bit better. I tried using just the card to get it going and that didn't work. So what I did instead, I got the uh, car sort of plugged in, I uh, used the application and no problem at all, it was as easy as anything. Um, I just have to remember that for next time because I'm sure I'll probably want to use it again some other point in time. So um, I'm sitting here, I've um, been here for, well, I don't know, not too many minutes really. and. Uh, it's back up to 72%. I've got 201 kilometres in there. And do you know what? Although it says another five minutes to get to 75%, I might even actually just stop the charge now and go home. Apart from that, I'm delighted to get my car back again. It's, it's brilliant to be driving electric. Bye now.